Today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to poach eggs. You're going to need a pot to boil water. The bigger, the better. The eggs need some room. Some eggs and a spoon. I like a spoonula because of its deep scoop. To a full boil, and I'm now going to turn it down to about six on my burner. The boiling is sort of slowed down to a strong simmer, and at this point I'm going to swirl it, get it going real fast, and then drop the eggs in. Um, just so that I can do it all, I'm going to halfway crack one of the eggs in my hand and uh, so that the water will stay spinning and I can get those two eggs in fast enough. So I'm going to get the water swirling, and I'm going to get it swirling pretty quick because I want it to still swirl while I get the two eggs in. The water does stop coming to a boil. Come in a little closer and see the top. But the whites of the egg kind of swirl around the yolk, so you get that kind of nice shape. It'll slowly come back to a boil, and you'll see that some parts of the eggs did slough off. But when it comes back to a boil, you never want it to get boiling too much. So sometimes I'll pull it halfway off the burner to control the boil. If I can keep it boiling just about like this, this is about where I want it to be, and this this sort of this nicely cooks the egg in about three minutes. But you see, I still get lots of foam and goo. To keep the boil down, I've pulled it about halfway off the burner. You can see this. So it's been about three minutes or so. I'm actually not running a timer, but I just sort of check them visually. And they're getting pretty close. I'll sometimes pull them out too to check. I like this spoonula because it has a good... Um, it has a nice scoop to it. Here you can see that they're pretty well cooked, but still a little soft to the touch. So these eggs are about done. Again, with the spoonula, it makes them easy to get out and pour off the water. And see, you get that nice, pretty nice shape to them. You can see there was a lot of white that did slough off. Not, not a lot, but still, it's not pure, pure pristine water. So now with a little now with a little salt and pepper, and here's the uh, here's the good test. Some good egg porn going on here, still runny. Mm, and still warm. There you go. And that's how I make poached eggs.